Hello everyone. My name is Ash, and welcome to my crafting corner. Today we will be painting Deedlet, from Record of Lodos War. Start with painting the base skin tone, using a Vallejo light skin. Deedlet holds a special place in my heart, Lodos War was one of the first animes that I watched, that really grabbed onto me. Even after all these years, I still love it, and Deedlet too. When I do my first layer of skin tone, I will let the part dry, and then spray them with a clear coat. This allows me to handle them, and not have to worry about taking any of the paint off. I learned how to do this technique, from the YouTuber The Creative Collector, I'll leave a link to his channel in the description box, you should check him out, he is so amazing at painting. An almost completely watered down red paint, to the various places on the face where blood will pull more. Such as the eyes, cheeks, inside the ears, and of course the lips. At the start, it won't look like it's adding much, but as each layer dries, it will begin to add up. You You can see how the color adds more red into the skin, like how real skin looks. Normally, I would add freckles to the face, legs and arms, but it turns out, elves don't have them, they are considered fair in perfect skinned, with no blemishes. The cape is done off screen, as it was done twice. Painting on the gold trim of her spaldors. For her boots, I use a very light brown. The legs straps or twine as it looks like, is just another brown, just darker than the last. Repeat this same thing on the other leg, and arms. Her belt, is airbrushed with the same dark brown as the twine in the legs. Pre-coat the gold parts before painting in black, so it will show up. Using one smaller brush, just take your time, and build up the layers of gold paint, usually takes two or three layers to get a good coverage with gold paint, well at least my gold paint that is.
I've always loved her sword. Use Vallejo Blue, and coat the whole thing, make sure to tape off the parts you don't want blue, such as the hilt, tip and butt of the sword. Again, just take your time with the gold paint. Her tunic, I was lucky to not have to mix any green for it. Seems I had the correct color on hand. The plate armor is the same as the sword, and again, off screen coat all the parts that the gold will go. Now, this took a long time to do, and many layers, the upper necklace I think was the harder part, since it had many parts wrapping around the back. The part on the neck though, I like that design, it looks so good when it's painted in gold, and clear coated, it really pops and makes the piece come alive. Dlit's hair isn't a dark yellow, it's actually pretty bright, so on the first part, it's hard to see the actual color. But on the large part of hair here, you can see how light it is. Getting into every nook and cranny took some time.
Dlit has a beautiful green color for her eyes. Start with getting the pupil, make it using a darker green. Now add a lighter green to the bottom to become the highlight. Poke a little dot of black, for the iris. And an even smaller dot of white, to make the light shimmer in her eye. The last part, is to paint her the air gold, and add red onto the gems. And with all that done, it's time for the glamour shots. I absolutely love how she turned out. The tree was far too big to print in resin, it was printed in two parts of plastic, then just glued together. This has to be my favorite painting I have ever done, maybe it's cause Deedlet is such a fond memory of me as a child, or maybe it's cause even to this day, people consider her one of the best elves ever. Way I fear for life I guess. If you liked what you saw here, please don't forget to subscribe, like and comment on the video. Also any and all ideas for making my painting better is always appreciated.